All right, if you have an ASUS motherboard and you have this RAID controller missing in the device manager, okay, uh, let's see. I'm assuming it's going to be this one. So if you get the pop-up in the bottom corner about Armory Crate, you want to install that. So let me show you what happens if you just open Armory Crate. So, um, so I'm going to go to Armory Crate here and there in the start menu. Um, if you don't have Armory Crate and you accidentally killed it for some reason and it's not reinstalling, you might have to go to the ASUS website to get it, right? We're going to skip this. We don't need that. We'll go to the user center. We'll go to this little tools looking button and then we'll go to individual kits. Here you can see Intel Rapid Storage Technology Driver. We're going to download that. Let's download that and just save it to the desktop. I'm assuming it's that because that's usually what they use for the RAID driver, okay? I don't know why it's not automatically doing it in this driver here, but for some reason it doesn't. So we're going to close that. Okay, now we have this Intel rapid storage driver thing here. You can right click it and then you can um, extract all and you can extract all to this. It has the folder name there. So we'll just extract. Okay, once you extract, you'll see you have this file. You can click install and then you can do ASUS setup. All right, or set up RST, but I'm just going to click Asus, Asus setup or Asus setup, however you pronounce it. Um, I think it's people said it's supposed to be pronounced Asus because it's supposed to be like Pegasus. All right. Anyways, so here we go. We'll go next. All right. Got to accept the terms and then next, next, next. We'll let it install. And yeah, I was right. That's the driver. I don't know why they keep it separate from everything else. It doesn't make sense. It should be in the drivers with everything else. Um, but for some reason it wasn't so there you go um, That fixed the driver we will let this completely finish, but that's pretty much it the other option If you want to do a clean install and you're not using uh, the Intel rapid storage or Intel VMD um, The easiest thing you can do is go into your uh, BIOS and then turn off the Intel VMD stuff So let me show you how you would do that. So you would restart. Okay, and then in the restart for ASUS, it's usually delete or F2. So we're just going to keep pressing delete. You can wait till the computer goes completely black or you can shut it down, power it on, and then press F2 or delete. Um, usually you can press both keys in case one doesn't work. So now it's off. We're going to keep pressing delete. Okay. All right. And keep pressing delete, delete, delete. I'm not going to turn it off, but I'm just going to show you where the setting is on this specific model. Okay, keep pressing delete, and then we should get, okay, here's the BIOS. We're going to go to advanced mode in the bottom, F7. Okay, and then I believe it's in advanced, and we have system agent SA configuration, and here you can see VMD setup menu. You go in there. And then enable VMD controller, you just go in here and disable that. Again, I'm not going to do that because I already installed everything with the uh, VMD controller. If you can't find your SSD, um, M.2 SSD to install Windows, a lot of times if you disable that VMD controller, you'll be able to fix it. Um, the other option is if you can get the Intel Rapid Storage whatever controller driver, you can put it on the USB and then you can have it use that folder. But you do need to extract the file into an actual, like, make it a folder. Um, so that usually can be confusing and might not be too easy. So if you're not using it, just disable uh, Intel VMD. And that's pretty much it. So, oops, I don't need to. No, 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 no. I don't want to restart everything. We'll just discard. <laughs> All right, so that's pretty much it. Hopefully it helped. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.